Hey, it's Tesla Canuck. I'm back with another video. It's another chilly day here in the Great White North, which makes it a perfect time to talk about battery drain. So today we're going to be talking about sentry mode and the impact that it has uh, on the battery. And particularly when you leave your car for a few days, like I just did, I went on a business trip. I was gone for three days and uh, had sentry mode on. And I wanted to talk to you about the battery drain that I experienced. So when I arrived at the airport, I had 75% state of charge and I did a screen capture. I'll throw that up uh, in the corner there. And when I arrived back, I had 45% and I'll throw a screen capture uh, up there in the corner. And so you can see I lost 30% state of charge uh, over three days. It was closer to 75 hours, but let's just keep it simple and say it was 72 or around three days just for the ease of math. So basically I lost 10% state of charge per every 24 hour period while my car was parked at uh, the airport. Now it was a little bit chilly, right? So it was around, oh, I'd say an average of maybe minus three over the period, um, and that's minus three Celsius. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, 28, 27? I don't know, whatever it is. Um, <laughs> so what uh, what happened? Um, let's talk about it. So last time I did this experiment was in June where uh, the sentry mode, when it was on overnight over a 24 hour period, it was taking about a 5%, maybe 6% state of charge. So it looks like things have gotten a little bit worse, even though there's been a number of uh, software updates since June. Now, in fairness, uh, the rear camera now is activated under sentry mode, and it wasn't back in June. So let's try to figure out any, like what happened here. Uh, so first, let's look at the temperature, right? So at first I thought, well, you know, the temperature probably explains the difference and why the sentry mode um, appears to be drawing more battery than it was back last June. So I took a look at the uh, temperatures and then last night what I did, not last night, it was actually Thursday night, I charged uh, my Model 3 up to 90% state of charge and then unplugged it. And 24 hours later, I was at 89%. I'll throw a screen capture up there. So basically in a, in a controlled test, uh, temperatures roughly similar it uh, looks like I lost about 1% over a 24 hour period without sentry mode on. So the difference in temperature doesn't look like it's going to explain the increase in the battery drain with sentry mode on. So what else could it be? So the next thing I looked at was, well, um, I did a video of when I entered the car at the airport on my return and I just double checked it and I'm gonna put a segment here, just right up there in the corner but I have no, or had no uh, sentry mode um, notifications. So I was thinking maybe if a lot of people had passed by the car, uh, you know, activated sentry mode, if there were a number of events, you know, that might explain the additional uh, battery drain, but there were zero events. So that doesn't explain it. So really we're down to the rear camera being activated uh, as probably the explanation as to why the battery drain on sentry mode has gone up since last time I tested it in June. Okay, so we've taken a look at the battery drain. We've taken a look at some possible explanations as to why uh, the battery drain on sentry mode is so high. And uh, I think the only conclusion here is that yes, it is high. <laughs> and what does that mean? Well, I think it means that if you're going to uh, leave your car somewhere like going to an airport um, and it's going to be several days or a week or whatever it happens to be you need to think about the battery drain that sentry mode is going to cause and whether or not you're going to have enough juice once you get back to the airport or wherever and you need to head home or uh, perhaps you need to just make it to the nearest supercharger so in the end that's the conclusion sentry mode is going to cause battery drain and you need to have enough in the tank, so to speak, to be able to make it uh, to your next destination when you get back to your vehicle. So anyhow, let me know what your experience has been with sentry mode and leaving it on overnight. Are you experiencing a lot of battery drain or is it just me? So I'd love to know, let me know in the comments. So if you're gonna leave your Model 3 for a number of days, 
uh, and you have sentry mode on, expect battery drain possibly as high as 10% every 24 hours. You need to plan for that. All right, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I love making videos for you guys. That's it for today. Tesla Canuck, over and out. And I came back. <sighs> Video. Three, a, uh, three, two, Wait, one. Ah, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, you need to head home. Three, to, two, or you need to head home. Mm. Uh, Tesla Canuck signing off. No, that's not my call signal. God damn it. Uh, okay. Thank you.